running. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, nudity. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hello, everybody, hey. and welcome back to another tabletop adventure here at Digital Woods. Yay. Today we have a thousand point game between Codex Compliant Chaos Space Marines and Necrons. That is still w gloriously awaiting their Codex. Yes. So, if you're interested in full army descriptions, rules about the game that we run and play, it's all in the link in the description down below for our pre game show. Other than that, on to turn one. Yay! Here we are deployed for our Vanguard Strike Cloak and Shadow game. Uh, as it stands, I will be having turn one, unless Mike can seize it, because I finished deploying first. Yep. So, let's see if I seize the initiative. I do not. So, we will be going into Dark Raiders turn one. Turn one for the Dark Raiders rolling, or... Drawing my tactical objectives. That's actually going to be a special one. It's that one. Okay. Next tactical objective. Do that. And last one. I'm probably discarding that one. Alright, and with that, that is my tactical objectives. Turn one movement for the Dark Raiders. Both my HQ and uh, Defiler stayed put. On the left flank, the Vindicator moved up. Chaos Space Marines falling in behind. Middle, that Chaos Space Marine moving towards objective three. Chaos Rhino moving up to take cover. And that Chaos Space Marine shuffled forward just to be in better cover. All right. And now might be an excellent time to uh, mention, because kind of forgot to say it thus far. We are currently using a wider angle lens. Um, so hopefully, so ho hopefully <laughs> it looks a lot better. I honestly forget what the comment commenter name was at the moment, but... We recommend doing wider angles, so... So, we, we thought we'd give it a try, see how it turned out. Hopefully it works. Psychic phase, because the other one is in the transport, he can't cast any psychic powers. So just onto this guy, he's going to cast Prescience on that Defiler. Seven. Okay, and Prescience only needs a seven, so that successfully goes off. That basically counteracts the, the Shadows thing. It adds one to all shooting for the turn. All right, yeah, that works. And then the last thing he is going to do is use the Psychic Power Weaver of Fates on it to give that guy plus one to his invul save. Ooh. This one is only a warp charge six. Hey. hey, you... Peril. Peril. I'm not the only one! D3 damage. One. Oh. And then uh, his Unholy Fortitude kicks off on a six. I ignore it. Nope, so he takes one wound. Okay. He took his bonus wound. Starting off shooting, my Defiler is going to put his Battle Cannon into the Ghost Arc. And both his Havoc Launcher and his, Re his Reaper Auto Cannon into the Group of Warriors. Alright. So, I'm going to start with the Reaper Auto Cannon because it is literally only in range of one of that Warrior Squad. It is four shots, and they are hitting on fours with all the pluses and minuses. So two hits. Uh, and I'm looking for threes to wound, because it is strength seven. One wound. AP minus one. Five up. Oh, oh, you're attacking the... Warriors. Okay, so it would be five up. Yeah. D6 number of shots from his Havoc missile launcher. Three shots. Hitting on fours, two hits. Wounding on threes because it's strength five. Two wounds, no AP. And this is on the warrior still. All right, two four ups. Two go down. Two go down. And then the battle cannon onto the ghost arc. D6 number of shots. 
two. Uh, I am going to command dice that for four. Hitting on fours. Still only got, still only got one. Wounding on a three. Goes through. Uh, AP minus two. All right, so that's a six up then. Nope. Okay. D3 damage. One. All right. Okay, uh, that's it for the Defiler. All right, next will be my Vindicator. He'll be firing at the Troc Stalker using his Havoc Launcher because of the Demolisher Cannon's out of range. D6 number of shots. Five. Hitting on fives because of the cover of darkness and he moved. Uh, two hits. Wounding on fives because it is only a strength five weapon. None. Then the rhino over here is going to do the same thing into the warriors. All right. D6 number of shots. Four. Hitting on fives. One hit. Wounding on a three. One wound. No AP. Said warriors. Yep. Four up. Got it. Yeah. And that's the end of my shooting. Nothing else is in range for anything. And you're not charging, nothing like that? No. I'm more than 24 inches away in most cases. All right. So that means on to my turn. Yep. So Necron turn one, grabbing my tactical objectives. First one's gonna be, hmm, no prisoners, all right. Next is gonna be secure objective four. That'll be interesting. I think I might have that one or it's on the other side of the board, one of the two. And last we have secure objective two. And I think I'm holding that one with my Scarab, so that's pretty good. So starting off Necron's first turn, I'm gonna be doing reanimations on these guys right here. Two died, so I'll only be doing two, and it's gonna be at four up because of my cryptic. So, two four ups. One came back. And I just have to make sure they're within three inches of the ghost arc after movement, then I can do that again for the last one that's still gone. And during this camera bit, I'm also going to say wave of command on that same group of Necrons. The so movement for Necrons turn one had this whole group of Necron warriors move up to get as much of an angle as they could on that tank there. The Cryptek moved with them the Catacomb Command Barge has shifted forward and over to make sure that all the warriors are still in the, the closest models to the enemy. The Ghost Ark has shifted up after disgorging my uh, Necron warriors right there. And the Treyarch Stalker has moved up as well. Uh, holding my back line, Spider shift it over just in case. I'm still kind of wary and not sure what to do with that, so I really should move it forward or something. I don't know. But either way, on to shoot. No. No. I almost forgot. The secondary um, reanimation for this group, which is one four up. I can use the cryptex for... Okay, yeah. One four up. Nope, so he's still not in that group. So it's worth a shot. And hell, I finally remembered. Shooting phase, Treyarch Stalker firing first at that tank right there, hitting on fours because it moved. One hit, wounding, I believe it's strength eight versus... Uh, my seven, so threes. All right, so hitting on threes, or wounding on threes, my apologies. Hit, or, ah, wound. It's focused AP minus four, so yeah, it'll go right through. 
Yay! D6 damage. Three. Three damage. Okay. Onto this group of four uh, within this big group right here are going to be shooting at that tank as well. Um, because two are out of the 18 inches range, I'm going to be denoting them with this. So they're going to be shooting at a with a minus one. Yep. So four is to hit. Four and then five on the white dice. Yes. So one hit there. And so that's three hits. Wounding on strength five. Four. There's your regular warriors. All right. Four for that. So it's fives. Yes, wounding on fives. All right. So wounding on fives. Three wounds. Okay. AP minus one. I am mostly obscured. So four, uh, three, three ups. Another wound. All right. How many wounds does he have? Ten. All right. Next down the line is going to be these two. I forget which two it was you pointed out. Most two. All right. So these two right here are going to be shooting at that group of Chaos Space Marines. Yes. And I'm still using the white dice to denote the minus one. Mm -hmm. So. One hit. One hit. Wounding on four. Top four. Four. Wound. One four up armor. Nope. So uh, regular guy goes down. I will shoot with my catacomb command barge at the tank once more. Now he is within the eighteen by just. So I'm gonna fire first with my staff of light, which gets three shots and is assault. Alright, that'll be hitting on twos. That's three hits. Wounding on fives. fives yeah. Wounding on fives. One wound. So maybe minus a two. So one, five up. Oh. Actually, no. I'm mostly obscured from that guy. Yes, so, so that would make okay. it. Yes, plus one for being in cover. Yep. And then next is going to be from the same... Uh, catacomb command barge is heavy Gauss cannon or whatever. Yes, or regular Gauss cannon. It's just plain old Gauss cannon. Yes, with two shots. Uh, is it a heavy weapon? It is a heavy weapon. All right, so he's be hitting on threes. Yes. One hit. Still only strength five. All right, so I miss. It, it does not. Well, I hit it, but it didn't wound. Okay. Next is... Either your Ghost Duck or your uh, Warriors. I'm going to do these five. Okay. All right, now these five have a plus one to hit because of Wave of Command. So they're all going to be hitting on threes. Okay. So five shots. Didn't quite... Help. Yeah, okay. Two. Two possible wounds. Two wounds. Five and a six. Two three ups. Oh, so two more. Yay. Six damage done. And lastly, my ghost arc, finishing it off, putting everything into that tank. That's fair enough. 20 shots. All right, so 20 shots because I'm just in the 12 uh, range where I'm firing double yep. at that tank. So 20 shots. Hitting on fours should be. One went off the table, so I'll roll another. There it is. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, n nine shots. You hit on threes. I hit on threes? Yeah. I thought I hit on fours. You're a Necron. You're right. 14 hits. There you go. All right, so wounding on fives. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five possible wounds. From the height of your model, I won't get the cover, so here's five four ups. Two more damage. Yes, that should be the end of my turn. I don't believe there's anything else I need to do. 
Um, Did you score any tests? I was about to say, except say that I get one point for securing two. Cool. Yay. And do we have anything for throwing objectives out, or we just keep them? You, you can, yeah, you can throw them out. So okay. I, like last turn, I threw one of mine out. Oh, all right. When I drew it, I'm like, I drew it. I'm throwing this one out. Ah, all right. Fair enough. In case you want to know, it was behind enemy lines. <laughs> In that case, I might do that next time it's my turn. Um, there's one that's a little annoying. It's the end of your turn, so technically that's turn? when it gets thrown out. All right, screw objective four. Okay. And that is the end of my turn. Turn two for the Dark Raiders. Draw my tactical objective. Well, he doesn't possess any of those, so. Next. Okay. I can do that one. That should be nice and easy for me to do. All right, and then on to my movement. Turn two movement. Both of these stayed put. Over here, the Vindicator just rotated in place. The Chaos Space Marines fell in behind for cover. Chaos Space Marines there moved up to objective three. Remained in place, which I need to do a quick roll for. On a six, it regains a hull point for self-repair. Nope. Disembarked and advanced both these units, and according to the Dark Raider special roll, I can advance and still charge. Sad face for me. And these guys moved up to take the hill and put some shots down. All right, on the psychic. On the psychic, uh, he's gonna cast prescience onto the. Oh, does, didn't he have some kind of regen health thing? Not him. He does. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Uh, so starting with prescience. Got it. No perils. And then the invul save bonus. Ah, Fate on Weaver. this guy. Got it. No perils. Jumping over to the other psyker, he is going to cast. Uh, Diabolical strength, or demonic strength, or whatever the name of it is, onto the um, corn berserkers. Fair enough. Seven. It is a warp charge six power. So, all right. At least I do believe. I don't believe you're within twenty-four inches of my spider. Nope. Definitely not. Should have moved it up. Probably should have. Oh well. Diabolical strength is six. So, yes. And then he is going to go ahead and sink a smite into the warrior squad, because that's the closest unit. All right. Okay. Got it. D3 mortal wounds. One mortal wound, so one warrior goes down. All right. Fair enough. Shooting. I'm going to start off with my defiler. Uh, I'm going to sink my battle cannon into your triarch the reaper auto cannon into the small squad of warriors this one and the havoc launcher into the complete squad of warriors all right so starting off with the battle cannon d6 number of shots two hitting on fours one hit wounding on a three wound uh, EP minus two. All right, so it's going to be one five up. Nope. D3 damage. One. Oh, can't even use quantum shielding. The four Reaper, oop, the four Reaper auto cannons into the small warrior squad. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound, EP minus one. So you go five up. Five up. One warrior goes down. D6 number of shots from the Havoc Launcher into the full squad. One. Hitting on a four. Nope. Uh, then moving on, my uh, Vindicator is going to fire its Demolisher Cannon into your Triarch Stalker and the Havoc Missiles into the Warrior Squad. The big one? Yeah. All right. Demolisher Cannon. D3 number of shots. Three. 
hitting on fours because of the uh, darkness of night. Good for me. Yep. Havoc launcher, D6 number of shots. Three. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on a three. Nope. Wow. All right. Muffland. Okay. This squad melts a gun into the truck stalker and the three bolt guns into the warrior squad. All right. So starting with the bolt guns, three shots hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. So that's two four ups. One wound. Goes one. Melt a gun, hitting on a three. Okay. Rhino pops smoke from the hill up there. There's going to be four bolt gun shots going down into your warrior squad. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Two wounds. No AP. Two four ups. One dies. Okay, it's on to charges. So, corn berserkers going in against the warriors, and I might as well send in the uh, sorcerer in as well. All right, so I'm going to obviously do Overwatch on the corn berserkers with the four guys that can see. Five yes, I can see. Five guys that can see. All right, so that's ten shots hitting on sixes. Eh, one. I got one. One hit. Fives because of my will be on. I'm sorry. Wave of command. Which adds you are, one to all you are hit rolls. To all hit rolls. I think there was at least one more in there. Yeah. There, I saw at least one five before you pulled it back. Um. All right, because we're running on time, and I don't want to check it. I'll just go with two. All right. So two possible wounds. On fours. Both wound. Ace. AP minus one. Two four ups. Well, poop. Um, charge distance. Eight you inch. really need to roll. I want to I go get in. All right, fine. Here's your dice. I want to. I want to. You want to wrap around so I have nowhere to uh, reanimate. Move that, and I want to go and touch your crypt tech. I want to <laughs> go and touch your crypt tech. I want to wrap all the way around. Speaking of which, what? What? Oh, no, you're using it as a uh, an angle. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, wasn't there a comment, I'm not sure if you read it or not, about how you can't multi-charge in this one or you something can, similar? You can multi-charge. You just have to, like, shift afterwards to grab them? Yeah. You have to make sure when you're going to pile in that it is the closest model to pile in. That is why I'm trying to angle this. Which I don't think I'll be able to do, so never mind. Aha! I have to wait until consolidation. Aha! All right, and roll your distance for your uh, your dude. All right, so eight inches. He's he's in there too. Okay, starting off with just the chain sword wielders. I have a total of seventeen attacks between. The three regular dudes with chain swords and the rising champion or something like that. Aspiring champion. So 70 attacks. Hitting on threes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight misses. So about half hit. They are strength seven at the moment. So threes to wound. One, two, three, four, five, six wounds. No AP on this. Six four ups. One, two, three die. Okay. Three chain axe wielders. Swing. Uh, total of nine attacks from them. Hitting on threes. Looks like only four hits. However, they are strength eight. Oh, okay. So wounding on twos. Three wounds, AP minus one. All right, so that's three five ups. Yep. 
And I think that polishes the squad. It does, actually. Well, poopy. And here, I was thinking of bringing, you know, the Canoptic Wraiths, my melee group. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to pile in my three inches, or consolidate, and the closest model is that guy. Okay, well, poop. Uh, tape measure for everyone else, because it actually matters. Actually, no, I can consolidate into, into that, drawing him into the fight. The reason why is, Corn Berserkers have a special rule. They get two fight phases. <laughs> All right, explain. Literally, they have a special rule that they get two fight phases. So the first one is their charge one. Then my other charge guy would go, but he literally can't because the unit he charged is dead. So I'm going to choose a unit to go. It's going to be my uh, corn berserkers. Which are going to pile in three inches. Uh, I... I'm just going to take the moment to say I'm not okay with this. This is not my cup of tea. The special rule is called Blood for the Blood God. I'm feeling better about it, but still apprehensive. They can fight <laughs> twice in each fight phase instead of once. So the first one was the charge one, then my other charge guy would go, and then I get to choose a unit to go. And that's all codex? Yeah. All well, right. I think that actually Blood for the Blood God is index. Hmm. Either way, I can't wait for Necron's Codex. Yep. Shiny no, rules like that. So, go on. Yeah. So, wait, hold on. Since it's a new fight phase, Still do you start, or do I fight you, because no, you here, didn't here, charge? Here's the turn order. You take care of all charges first, and then it goes to active player's turn, chooses one unit to go, then you choose a unit to go, oh. and then back and forth. Oh. So you just get to sh attack me again before I attack you? Yes. Blow a raspberry at you. Go ahead. Go Let's on. See. Trying to just determine where all my attacks are going at the moment. Uh, into me. Yeah, so two chain axes into him, and then literally everything else is going into that guy. All right. Uh, starting off with the two chain axes into the cryptic. Six attacks, hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding, um, unless, no, yeah, you're only strength, toughness four with him, so twos to wound. Well, wow. uh, if you minus one, so your three up becomes four ups. All right, so three four ups. Three wounds. Uh, I'm not sure if he has four wounds or is he, now dead. He has at least four, so he's not dead. One remaining chain axe, his three attacks into that guy. Hitting on threes. Two hits. Strength eight versus six, so threes to wound. Oh, well, one wound. Um, Sorry. Yeah. If you minus one, so four up. One four up. Okay, why have you forsaken me? There you go. Next volley. The 17 attack from the chainsword wielders. All into the command barge. So, hitting on threes. One, two, three, four, five, six misses. They are strength seven, so I'm still looking for threes to wound. Um, looks like six wounds. Six. six three ups. Three ups. Failed one. All right. And it knocked it into a two, so. There you go. Yeah, it didn't pop. Yep. Uh, and that's my attack, so you get to attack back now. Starting with my crypt tech into that group with his one attack, hitting on threes. Yep. Hit. Hit. Wounding on strength four versus... A tough force of fours. Fours. Nope. Nope. And then my overlord hitting on twos with three attacks. One miss. 
Wounding on strength five versus four, so threes. Two wounds. We have AP minus two. So two five ups. Well, that's the end of my turn two. Yep. All right, so Necron turn two. This time I'm pulling two cards because I uh, got rid of objective four and I managed to secure objective two. So two cards. First one being overwhelming firepower. What is that? Score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the shooting phase. Fair enough. I can get that with no prisoners as well. Next is secure objective six. Huh. I'll have to figure out where that one is. Uh, so for now, I'm keeping both of them. Uh, if I get rid of them one, I'll do it at the end of my turn. So Necron turn two with uh, starting off with reanimations. Giving it to this group right here. I only got the one, and they're not close enough to the Crypt Tech to gain their benefit. So, hit. going for five up. Nope, got a four up. Got a Crypt Tech, I would have gotten it back. So, no Necrons back this turn. I'm going to give Wave of Command to this group of Necrons, because I believe they are within the, the correct range. Um. On to movement. All right, so Necron turn two movement. I first off got everything out of there, so my catacomb command barge has shifted over here, getting ready to shoot because it has the fly special rule. My cryptech has hopped on board the ghost arc train and is uh, flying over here. This entire group of warriors has moved over to lay in as many possible shots into that group of juicers, walking juicers, known as the Corn Berserkers. My Spider has moved up to actually provide that 24 bubble to cancel out his psychic powers. Yep. And my Treyarch Stalker has shifted up to try and use the heat ray dispersion mode on that tank. Or that group of dudes. Either one. I haven't quite decided yet. And that should be my movement for turn one. On to shooting. Oh, nope, I'm, I'm false. One more try at reanimating these guys. Using Just the one barge. using the repair barge. Special rule. So still one, five up. Got a two. Nope. Darn, I was hoping at 40 shots into that group. All right, so starting off, Necron turn two shooting phase, firing my... Ghost Arc at that group of Corn Berserkers. Since I am within 12 inches, that's going to be 20 shots. Hitting on threes. I missed four, five, six, seven, nine times. Wounding on fours. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So six wounds and your Warzerkers. Okay. Six four ups. And it looks like three are gonna go down. I'll take these three guys. Alright, next my warriors. Would you please make sure that these guys are within the twelve? Yes. Still look like it. Still are. Yep. So now that's going to be 18 shots hitting on threes. It's five misses, six, seven, eight, nine misses. Wounding on Four same skills. fours. One, two. Three, four, five. So, four wounds. Four, wounds. four, four ups. I will command dice one. Nope. So three guys more go down. All right. Yeah, that leaves just the sergeant. All right. I'm sorry. Berserker champion. In that case, next is going to be my overlord, who. 
Ah, because he has two attacks, so I have to declare which ones are going where. Yep, you have to do them before you shoot. Yep, all, so all under that, because yeah. I'm guessing I can't say if I take him down with this. Yeah, I, nope. you have to declare your So, position. in that case, everything at the Berserker. Nope. So, starting off with three shots hitting on twos from his Staff of Light. Three hits. Wounding on strength five should be. Yep, so threes. Threes. Two possible wounds. Two five ups. And that is from the minus twos? Yeah. And uh, yeah, he only has one wound as well, so. All right, lastly is my Treyarch Stalker, who is going to throw a flamer at the tank. Okay. Well, the heat ray dispersed mode. A flamer. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so it auto hits, so D6 to see how many hits. Four, I'm gonna leave it, I'm not gonna re-roll that. All right, so I'm looking for fives to wound. So four five ups. I got three. So, yes. what was it, four. AP minus one or? Yep, AP minus one, so four ups. And that's enough. Sweet. Uh, I don't think I'm in explosion range anyway, but I'll roll it. Nope. Six. So. All right, sweet. That looks like everything in my army has shot and done its stuff. So I believe it is on to your turn. Okay. I defend objective four. You defend objective four. All right, well done. Um, I got two things this round, actually. I got no prisoners and overwhelming firepower. Kill something, kill something in the shooting field. Yep. And does it just have to happen on my turn for a secure? Um, yeah. Okay, I secured your objective six. Okay, cool. Turn three for the Dark Raiders. I forgot to mention it at the end of my turn when the Corn Berserkers charged in. I technically secured objective five, so that one is done. So here we go. Drawing some two new cards. Okay, that's a specialty one. Look at that in a moment. Okay, I'm gonna discard this guy because that's all the way on the other side of the table. But that is what the specialty objective is. I can do that. That's a simple one. Okay, now on to my turn. Uh, turn three movement, uh, stay in put. I really hope I get something involving objective one at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I got one with objective two. Yeah, uh, over here. I have moved those guys up, remain stationary, because Mike was so kind to move within 18 inches of my uh, demolisher cannon. Yep. Because I wanted that tank dead. You got it. Uh, Chaos Marine Squad moved up, the Sorcerer moved over, and over there, those, uh, those guys moved and advanced. Psychic phase. I might as well start over here with the prescience on him. Hey, I didn't get it. Oh, yay. Uh, and then the uh, fate weave. Got it. Yup. Okay, over there. Uh, uh, gonna... Am I still within 24 of you? I do not know. Here, this is over you. And you're at the very edge uh, of your nope. scarab. Nope, that is not. Sorry, spider. You're spider. I am not within 24. You just made it. Yeah. Darn it. All right, so first power I'm going to activate is the blasphemous strength, or I'm sorry, diabolical strength. Again, give it a new word every time. So... Hey! Harrells. Hey. And you didn't get it off. Uh, command dice. Oh, come on. I got it. Come on! 
Oh. So I'm down to four. So these guys now have plus two strength and one additional attack each. Okay, uh, he's going to go ahead and smite the stalker. This isn't good for my stalker. This is not healthy. Five is enough to get the bare bones one. All right, what's that one do? D3. Three damage, three mortal wounds. Ow. I think with that, I am done with my psychics. On to shooting. Starting off the shooting phase. This group of Chaos Space Marines are going to put their Meltagon, Crack Grenade, and two Bolt Guns into that. Ow. So let's start off with the Meltagon, hitting on a three. Hit. Wounding on a three. Wound. AP minus three. So a six up. Yeah, six up. Nope. 2d6, take the highest. Six damage. All right. Then quantum shielding. So no damage. Crack grenade. Hitting on a three. Nope. Bolt guns. Hitting on threes. <laughs> One. Wounding on a five. Nope. Okay. Next, I'll have my vindicator go. He'll put his demolisher cannon in. And then put his Havoc Launcher into the Warriors. All right. So D3 Havoc, I'm um, sorry, Demolisher Shots. Three. He has remained stationary, and you're now out of the darkness. So hitting on threes. Ugh. One. Okay. Wounding on a three. Nope. Uh, Havoc Launcher into them, D6 number of shots, 4, hitting these guys on a 4, 2, two hits. strength 5, so wounding on 3s, 1 wound, 4 up, nope, 4 bolt guns from that squad, hitting on 3s, wounding on 5s, Nope. nope. Okay. Well. Battle cannon into him. Reaper auto cannon. Also into him and Havoc launcher into the Warriors. Got it. I will spend one command point to pop signal flare on him. Which, uh, ah, yes. I ignore the darkness. So instead of hitting on fives, I'm going to hit on fours. All right. So hitting on fours with the Reaper auto cannon. Three hits. That was lucky. Mm -hmm. And strength seven, so I'm wounding on threes. <laughs> Followed up by uh, one and a one and a two. Do you, would you like to? Uh... Nope. D six number of battle cannon shots. Four. Hitting on fours. So wounding on threes, one, uh, AP minus two. All right, so five. That's it, that guy, right? Yeah. All right, five up, four. D3 damage, two. One. Oh, yeah, one, so it does go through. Uh, Havoc launcher into the warriors. Six shots, keep good. Hitting on fives. Two hits. Wounding on threes. Nothing. Wow. Bolt pistol from the sorcerer. Actually, no, he'll throw a cracker nade as well. Hitting on a three. Hit. Wounding on a four, because your strength, your tough six on that, right? I believe so. Okay. Declaring charges. Uh, Sorcerer will go in first, followed up okay. by the Chaos Space Marines into that. All right. I will overwatch, obviously, the Sorcerer. Mm -hmm. And with the dispersed version of the Heat Ray, so D6. Yep. Cocked. Cocked. Yeah, just re roll it. Six. Okay. 
five. I need one more. He's top four. And it's auto hit, so yep. it goes right to wounding. He's top four, so you're looking for threes to wound. All right, threes. Three possible wounds. They'd be minus one, right? I believe so, yes. So three four ups, one damage. All right. I do not have a red dice. You would have to go find one. Yep. Uh, charge distance makes it. Yep. Other unit makes it. Makes it. Starting off the fight phase with the Chaos Space Marine squad. Starting off with the three regular Chaos Space Marines. They have two attacks each now because of the diabolical strength. So here's six attacks hitting on threes. Four hits. Wounding on fours, because they're strength six at the moment. One. Uh, no AP. One three up. Got it. Okay. Power Fist has three attacks, hitting on fours. Command dice. Okay, one hit. Wounding on a two, because he's strength 12 at the moment. He got a two. So, goes through. Also, Al, strength 12. Yep, he's four base. The <laughs> diabolical strength adds two to it, and then the weapon doubles his strength. Nice. Well done. So, yeah. Uh, AP minus three. All right, so six up. Yep. Nope. What damage does it do? D3. Get high. Two. Okay, well, hopefully this is a one. For his quantum shielding, nope, doesn't. So that was two? Yep. So six. Now into his second bracket. Yep. Uh, now my sorcerer goes, unless you want to interrupt. Uh, which is a... Two command point strategy. Mm. What does your sorcerer's damage look like? Okay. Um... His four staff, he's strength six, AP minus one, D three damage each, and he has three attacks. Hitting on threes. So threes and fours for three attacks. Um Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Might as well use my two. Plus he has the chance of dying here. And I'm going to attack your Yeah, I'll, I'll attack your uh, standard squad there. Okay. So he's going to attack that group of just standard Chaos Space Marines. Thank you. Chaos Space Marines. He's got three attacks, and because he's down one bracket, he's attacking on four ups. I got two. Wounding on threes. Good strength seven. I don't have any more points to use, so one. Okay. One four up armor because he said it was AP minus one. That would have killed him even if they had regular armor. Yep, and the D3 doesn't matter because he just has one wound. Not the melted guy, uh, one of the regular dudes. Sorcerer swinging in. Three attacks hitting on threes. Well, wounding on fours. Two, two four ups. Five and a five. Yeah. Uh, and that is one solid turn of whiff sauce. <laughs>
uh, Cryptek out and about. So two five ups. One comes back, one still stays behind. There he goes. Then on to movement. Necron movement phase. That's where everyone landed. My Triarch Stalker has retreated from combat. My Ghost Arc has shifted over after depositing the Cryptek to aid that group once again. The Warriors have just simply shifted over to get better shots. My Catacomb Command Barge and Spider have moved out and forward to light up this group. They're both within 18 inches, so they don't have to worry about that minus one because it is nighttime. And the Scarabs are continuing to do what they do in the background because that's where I need them to be. And then on to the secondary set of reanimations because of Ghost Arc. And this time, aided by the Cryptek, so four up for the last warrior. And I've got him back. Tom, would you mind grabbing one from over there? Full group of 10 once more. So he retreated, he can't shoot. Yep. I'm gonna have my warriors all fire at this group right here. It's gonna be 20 shots, all hitting on threes. Lost one to the void. We go. So one, two, three, four, five, six misses. Wounding on strength four versus four. All right, so four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's a cocked dice in between the. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possible wounds, seven four ups, and that's the unit. Woo! Next is gonna be the ghost arc, firing 20 shots at your sorcerer, mm -hmm. hitting on threes. Um. I missed once, wounding on fours. fours. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight hit or wounds, sorry. Eight wounds. Wounding on fours. I'm sorry, four up armor. Three. He's got one wound left. All right. In that case, the three shots from the Cryptek mm -hmm. into the same target. Hitting on, I believe he's threes and not twos. Yeah, he's threes. All right. Yeah. Threes. Three hits. Wounding on probably still fours. Two. Well, wounding on threes, but that's beside the point. Oh, all right. Strike five. Yeah. You're right. Five up armor. Hey, he's still alive. Oh. Fooey. And next is my Catacomb Command Barge firing its Staff of Light into that group right there. So, three shots hitting on twos. Two, oh, three hits. Wounding on fours. Okay. I imagine. Either way, a wound miss. If you minus two, but I'm in cover, I'm sure you got these guys, right? Yes, absolutely. So four up instead of five ups. Didn't matter. All right. Next is the two from the heavy Gauss cannon. I'm hitting on threes because I moved. Yep. Both hit. Both hit. Wounding on, oh, I forget its strength so, value. It's five. It's five? It's only a regular Gauss cannon, it's not heavy. All right, so either way, a two and a one don't make it, yep. and I've used up all of my uh, points. All right. So, good job. Next, on to my spider with its particle beamer, firing at that group right there, hitting on fours. 
Wounding on threes. One possible wound. What was the AP? Zero. No AP. Oh, two up armor. Okay. Hey! Got one! All right, and that's all of my shooting and whatnots. We now have to do some measuring. Okay. Because I got a point if you're not in my uh, zone of deployment. I'm not. Yeah, you're not? I can tell you that right now, I'm not. All right, well, I got a point. Because right. your zone was pretty much like right here. Yeah. So, yeah! Yay, hold the line. Turn four for the Dark Raiders. They're on a tactical objective. Okay. Well, I got a different number version of this earlier, so here we go again. Stay put. Stay put to provide for support. Stay put so I'm not hitting on like sixes. Moved up. Moved up and moved up. Alrighty then. Any advancing there? Uh, no. Alright. On to Psychic. First, I will start off the Psychic phase by over there spending one command point to pop Spell Familiar and trade out Warp Time for Blessing of Chaos. Do you believe is it? Gifts of Chaos. All right. So what does that do? No, well, I might as well use it now. Actually, no, I will hold off using that oh. in case you wanted to deny it. So I'll start. I will start with him. He will put Smite into the Triot Stalker. All right. That's enough to get it. Do you want to deny? Because I'm within how, the 24. How much does that one do? Uh, D3 damage. Feel free. Three. All right. He's up to eight. Okay. Uh, then I will do Gifts of Chaos. You need a six, and I am targeting your Crypt Tech. Aw. Got it with a nine. Um, he's, it's the only psychic power in range, so you might as well try denying Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's just remind me again for denying in this one. You have to beat my 9. I have to beat your 9? Yep, on 2d6, beat my 9. You got an 8. Damn it. Okay, and then I roll a d6, and if it is greater than your toughness, that model suffers d3 plus 3 mortal wounds, and if that is enough to slay it, I gain a chaos spawn on my side. Oh... Uh... Yep. Okay. So I need a five or better. And I am going to command point this if I miss. Command point. Woo! Hold my heart. Okay. Okay. So Does that have any secondary effects? Or it's nope. Just... Aw. It's kind of a one-off. Yeah, but it allows me to target any enemy model within six inches, so if I'd killed your crypt tech and gained a spawn behind you. Yeah, that would have been fantastic. All right, jumping over here, prescience. Um, six. Six, which is uh, not enough to get it. Aw. Okay. Uh, and... Yeah, I got to do the other one? Yeah, nothing to hit it. That's it for psychic phase. On to shooting? Okay, shooting phase. I'm going to put everything from this into the warrior squad. All right. D6 number of battle cannon shots. Two. Uh, I might as well spend the one command point and I'm gonna use the signal flares on that squad as well. So hitting on fours instead of fives. Hits. There you go. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. EP minus two for the battle cannon. So six. Yep. One lives. Okay. Uh, D6 number of shots for the Havoc launcher. Five. Uh, 
Hitting on fours. Damn. Okay. Four shots from the Reaper Auto Cannon. Two hits. Wounding on threes. One. AP minus one. Four up. No, five up. Sorry. Still got it. Uh, okay. On to the Vindicator. Demolisher Cannon into the Triarch Stalker. Havoc Launcher into the squad. All right. Starting with the Havoc Launcher. Uh, D6 number of shots. Three. Hitting on threes because you're marked. Wounding on a three. Nothing. D3 demolisher shots. Three. Hitting on fours. Two. Wounding on threes. One. AP. Uh, minus three. Six. Yeah. Six up. Got it. This unit is going to put its three bolters into the warrior squad and the melt gun into the Ghost Ark. melt a gun hitting on a three. Three bolters hitting on threes. One hit. What angered these one dice? Is, one wound. So one four up. Fine. Uh, bolt pistol into um, stalker. Screw it. Hitting on a three. Uh, I dealt one wound with all my shooting. All right. Would you like to shoot with them? Yes. Five bolt gun shots from that Chaos Space Marines into those warriors. Hitting on threes, because they're you are marked. Wounding on fours. One wound. AP? None. It's bolt guns. Four up. One more dice. Killed two Necron Warriors with about 800 points worth of shooting. Alright, so are you charging this round? Yep, Sorcerer into your Stalker. Alright, I'm overwatching with the Dispersed version. Yep. Let's see how many attacks. Three. Three. Auto hits, so Three. just going for wounds. Yep. The Cock one dice. in there is cocked, so I'm just going to reroll. Two. Alright. Uh, two four ups. Command dice. And still a two. Alright, he's dead. Uh, and with that, I'm going to GG. Oh. I literally no longer have the ability to move across the board to engage you. And after three turns of shooting and dealing no damage with my ranged weapons, I don't think it's going to be different. All of my points involve characters killing your guys. I have one. Oh no. Uh, I don't I, see me pulling a victory around. I mean, I get secure objective five. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I, I got secure objective, or defend uh, hold, two. defend objective two. So I'm at five, you're at seven. Seven. And it's going into your turn four. Yes. Um, they're wiped on your turn, they're wiped on the next turn, and that leaves these two guys, which have proved they can't hurt anything. Even your warriors. I mean... You got one squad with the, the melees. Yeah. Yeah. They're the only thing that did anything, and... I made it's sure... Not, it's not the army. It's literally the dice have decided that I... No, there's a whole many times where it would have been, I'm done. Except for dice. Yeah. That, w that was dice were not pleased that that that, that game. That game, yeah. But hey, I won one. Because dice said so. That, that, that I'm gonna give that victory to dice. Yeah. 
All right, thanks everyone for watching our video. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good one.